Hi, I just thought I'd do a quick update video to address some of the comments and questions raised by my Parkinson's disease tremor control video, which at this point has had in excess of 25 million views. I'd like to thank everyone who has viewed my video, and especially those who have left me such lovely and in some cases very moving comments. I think it's important for people to realise that Parkinson's disease is not curable, and I'm not going to get better. It's a progressive neurological condition that will simply get worse over time. I'm reminded of that fact every time I see my mother, who has advanced Parkinson's and can scarcely walk or talk, and freezes unexpectedly in mid-stride. The prescription medication she takes makes her drowsy, makes her feel ill, and gives her hallucinations, but she won't benefit from cannabis in the way that I do, because her Parkinson's is different to mine. She doesn't have much of a tremor. Everyone's Parkinson's is different. My most troublesome symptoms are tremor, muscle stiffness and weakness, slowness of movement, dystonia, poor balance, speech problems and mood and motivation problems. I don't have the freezing issues that many people with Parkinson's have at the moment. I don't take any prescription medication for Parkinson's because it either has no effect at all or it makes me feel so ill that I'd rather put up with the tremor. That is why I had surgery to mask my symptoms, and mostly my DBS controls my tremor, but when it needs a little help, then cannabis provides that help. Cannabis isn't a cure, neither is DBS. Parkinson's is there underneath it all, progressing relentlessly. People have accused me of being a fake and want to know why I don't have tremor in the opening seconds of the video. Firstly, I just turned off my deep brain stimulation hardware, which generally suppresses my tremor. Secondly, I would only just sat down in front of the camera. Parkinson's tremor is a resting tremor, which means that it is evident when you are at rest. It takes a few moments to re-emerge, and that is what you see happening. Why don't I show myself taking cannabis on camera? Uh, let me think. That would be because it's illegal. It's one thing to talk about it, and quite another to post a video of me actually breaking the law. When I put the video out there, I had no idea of how much interest it would generate. I put it there for the benefit of other Parkinson's patients, and accepted that in doing so, I was at risk of having a knock on my front door. To publicly ingest an illegal substance on camera would be like sticking two fingers up at the law, and providing them with the evidence to prosecute me. People ask me what strain I use and where to buy it. The strain is Northern Lights, which is widely used for medicinal purposes. It's high THC, low CBD, which would seem the opposite to what everyone says is required. All I can say is that it works for me. Obviously, I can't tell you where to buy it. How do you take it? I use a vaporizer, but some people may prefer to smoke it or cook with it. Vaporising or smoking gives almost instant relief, whereas eating it can take an hour or more to work. The effects last for about three hours after vaporising or smoking, and between about four to six hours when eaten. I've never tried using oil, so I can't comment on that. What are the side effects? Well, I guess these will vary from person to person, but for me they're negligible. A mild high at the doses I take, sometimes a dry mouth, sometimes increased appetite all far preferable to the side effects I suffer from the prescription medications. People cite the placebo effect and point to the fact that no study has established beyond doubt that it has any beneficial effect for the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. It works for me and it made life bearable in the 12 months prior to my surgery. I must stress that all of this relates to me and my personal experiences. What works for me won't necessarily work for you, and vice versa. Thanks for watching my video. I'd very much appreciate it if you would click on the like button underneath the video window, and click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.